In all of the video tutorials that we've seen so far, all of the different features in PHP Explained have all just sequentially gone through a block of code and executed each statement once. Sometimes though in PHP it's often useful to go back and execute a statement or a block of statements over and over again depending on the situation. So, to allow us to do that in PHP, there's a feature called loops, and there are a few different types of loops, but the type of loop that we're going to look at today is called a while loop. Let's take this example that we can see here in front of us. I have set up a variable called i, and I've assigned in the number 1 into it. And then I've got an echo statement saying value is now, and then concatenated on the value that's in i onto that string, and I've outputted it. I would like to execute this statement, this echo statement, a number of different times. And so I'm going to put it inside a while loop. And this is what I'm going to do. While is a key word, a reserved word on PHP, so as soon as I type it in my text editor, it turns blue. And then, straight away, I put in a round bracket, and then I'm going to put in a condition. The condition is, is while i, that's the variable i, so dollar i, is less than or equal to the number 10, I am going to execute whatever comes after that in this block of code. And the block of code is shown by the curly braces. Because this is a block of code, I'm going to indent echo. Again, let's study what's going to go on here. Because i is set to 1, the while loop is going to repeatedly check this condition and see whether it's true. If it's true, it will continue to execute this code, this statement here in this code block, over and over again. So because i isn't changing anywhere in this code, well, i is going to remain at number 1. And so this condition is always going to remain true. So what will happen there is it will just go round and round and round, infinitely. To stop that from happening, I need to put in one more statement in this code. And it is to increment the variable i using the increment operator. Now that I've got that statement in, it means at the bottom of this code block, i will get incremented, or in other words, 1 will get added to the value of i. And so, after a number of different iterations or loops of this code being executed, then i will eventually reach 10. Once i reaches 10, this condition is no longer true. And once that condition goes to false, the while loop will stop executing this code and will just jump on here and execute whatever other PHP statements are below it. So let's save that and let's see how it works. And I'm going to send in a file request for the file. And I can see, yes, I've got a number of different statements out there. There are no line breaks there, so I'm going to add in a line break in HTML back in my code. And let's save that and go back and refresh. And so I can see that statement is getting looped and looped around and around again as long as i is equal to or less than 10. Once that's no longer true, the code stops being executed, PHP moves on, and the page gets served. Loops are very, very useful in PHP and in all programming for that matter. But one thing to watch out for is, like I said before, this idea of an infinite loop. If we set up a while loop, in this type of way, and I don't increment the var variable i, then I'm going to go into an infinite loop. So let's see what happens when I take away that incrementing statement. I'm going to go back into my browser, I'm going to refresh, and all of a sudden I see it goes on, my scroll bar has gone very, very wide, and it just goes on and on, and I'm still transferring data from the local host. So basically, the PHP engine has gone into an infinite loop, and it's just going round and round trying to execute this while loop uh, with no end in sight, and it basically hangs the PHP engine. It's a very, very serious fault. And if you can imagine what would happen if that was happening on a web server where lots of different requests from different users are coming in requesting pages while the PHP engine is looping around infinitely trying to service your request, it won't be serving any other pages either. So it seriously degrades the performance of your engine. And the lesson you should take away from that is always make sure that whatever way your code is set up, that this condition 
at some stage will turn to false so that the PHP engine can jump out and execute the rest of the code and serve the page. Whatever that statement is or whatever way you set it up, it just has to be set up in such a way that that condition eventually goes to false. Otherwise, it's what is known as an infinite loop. And that's a while loop in PHP.